Hi and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today with a kind of an unusual looking puzzle because this puzzle looks pretty much like a bomb and it's called the Bomb Destroyer Puzzle. Made and designed in the Ukraine by Andrei aka Engineer Bruns. You've seen two more puzzles of him. The Engineer's Stash as well as the, I think it was called Barrel Puzzle. Both are great puzzles and this one the Bomb Destroyer Puzzle is now the next one in the line. By the way, the initial name considered for this puzzle was the Atomic Bomb Puzzle. Probably heavily influenced also of what's going on in Ukraine and the fears coming with it. However, he decided to change this name for a more appealing, let's say, name and changed it to the Bomb Destroyer Puzzle. It's a disassembly, reassembly puzzle and the task is to disassemble it entirely and find a hidden coin. You probably can hear it already here inside if I shake it. You can hear there's moving something inside. The top will spin, everything else seems to be fit. Some letters down here saying bronze and that's it, pretty much everything you can discover. Pretty cool design, very interesting and in addition, I would also like to show you some kind of a neat desk toy or something you can place in your shelf. It's called 360 Book and it's a book or it's actually not a book, <laughs> it's a thing <laughs> that looks like a book and it can be unfolded and reveals a three-dimensional, in this case, space where you can see some things flying around here, some rockets, a, a, a UFO here, demon up a cow, by the way. And yeah, it's a pretty cool device and very, very satisfying to look at. And I also like the way how this is created with all these single layers. Definitely worth to look at if you may be looking for something creative to place your shelf. Just got me this one and thought maybe you're also interested in it. However, this episode is about puzzling and to be more precise, it's about destroying this bomb somehow. And after spoiler break, you're gonna see my first attempt ever trying to do so. Here we go. And let's, let's have a look. So the first thing that you instantly notice is this noise, which can be also only the coin and that the lid is slightly movable. You can just pull it up a bit, but it's possible to spin it easily. Nothing blocking it, no matter how I rotate it. The tip up here, you cannot push in or twist, I think. Back here, everything seems to be fixed. This one cannot be moved back here, it seems. Looks also like there is something, Whoa. but this looks pretty much like up here. Oh yes, oh, I can screw it. Oh, is this intended? Did I already solve the puzzle? No, I cannot imagine. Just screwing it off is probably too less. I hope at least. By the way, this has a difficulty level three out of, I think three out of five on the engineer runs scale. So, oh, oh. So here there is a shaft or something. Definitely assembled or manufactured as a separate part. You can see there's a gap between the inner part and the outer shell of the puzzle so this part is somehow screwed also no but it cannot be manufactured like this inside so this is somehow held in place and here we got a sleeve or something with a pin inside let me take this thing here you can see down there on the ground there is like a I don't know what this is, this feature here, but here's the hole with the pin and down here below there is something else. You can see it right on the bottom. Maybe it's holding the pin in place. Maybe I can shake it out somehow. Let's see. No. I put this back in place. Oh, oh, okay. The cylinder here is very tight towards the sleeve. Nearly no, f there's basically zero free play between the two. And how tight it is, you can you can see it if you, you see this. Look at this. Yeah. Okay. And I think this is definitely on purpose. Can I maybe push this in to push out the pin? Oh, a left-handed thread in here. <laughs> I knew this thing could come out. Oh, and there is a hole for the pin down here. You see this? 
there's a hole down here and if I rotate it and bring it in the right orientation, there's another hole on the bottom here. You see this? Ah, maybe I need to get the pin out, put it in here and then screw this off or something will happen here on this one. Maybe I can just push the thing in here. Yeah. Oh, I can get this now further in than before. Oh, 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 it's, hey, it's back in. You saw the pin coming out? Watch this. Here, the air will push it out. And now, oh, and now I carefully need to get it back in. So let's hold this in place. Here we go. <laughs> Here I got my pin. I, I, I'm feeling it's it's coming close to the solution. Here it's now in, and now no. To screw this in again, no. Oh yes. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, okay. The tip here is only a sleeve and this is already the solution to the puzzle would have been also possible, I guess, if the thing would not have been back together, right? Let me just take it apart again. So I just took a minute to look at it, how it works in detail. This little ball up here has no intentional regards being parts of the solution. It's only, from my point of view, to hold this lid in place when it's fully screwed on top. So there are all these small holes. It will interfere with one of these holes and you cannot unscrew this because this is rotating as long as the pin is in here. It's not, from my point of view, like a feature which should mislead you and create like a stopping feature where this thing can be only moved in certain positions. I think it's only to prevent that this will come off excellently. To reassemble it, coin in here, Put this here on the top, put the pin in here and screw the thing here on the top like so until you hear it click. Here we go. And then you can also use this thing to put the pin in the right place. I just used my finger here to hold it in the right position. Put the pin back in here, screw this thing back in again counterclockwise because it's a left-handed thread and then Put this thing back in place and the puzzle is solved. From difficulty point of view, not the most difficult puzzle from manufacturing point of view and design point of view, pretty interesting. I would rate it with a two out of a maximum of five on a personal difficulty rating scale. Let me know in the comments if you agree. Let me know what you think about this. So excellent design from my point of view, highly recommendable. Engineer Bruns, another good one. Thanks a lot. We now see us more frequent again and until next time. Keep on puzzling.